the electricity has flickered out. The automobile age is over. The computers are all down for good. The people of a little town named Union Grove in upstate New York are living very locally. Times are hard and close to the bone. Two great cities have been destroyed. Epidemics have ravaged the population. The government isn't functioning. There may be a president, and he may be in Minneapolis, but it's little more than rumor. The world beyond Washington County has become unknown territory. World Made by Hand is the story of Robert Earle, a carpenter who was once a corporate executive, and his friends and loved ones, and what happens to them one summer in a country that has changed forever. The nation is in turmoil, and people are on the move. The New Faith Order, a radical religious sect fleeing the troubles of their native Virginia, has bought the vacant high school and moved in. Their leader, Brother Job, takes center stage in the town's affairs, and the people of Union Grove are not happy about it. A gang of low-life ex-motorheads runs the old town dump as a mining operation and bullies everyone else around the county. A young man is murdered in cold blood, but there are no authorities to call in. Meanwhile, life must go on. The townspeople struggle to feed their families and hold what's left of their community together. When the crew of a Hudson River trading boat goes missing, Robert is enlisted to find them. His strange journey downriver and the events swirling in Union Grove play out against a panorama of abandoned highways and empty houses, horses mowing in the hayfields, and neighbors working shoulder to shoulder at things that matter. A powerful tale of love, loss, violence, and desperation, world made by hand, depicts a surprisingly lyrical, tender, and hopeful new America struggling to be born. The future is not what you expect.